Hello, my name is Mary Lonnie, and today I want to show you how you can make a small embroidered painting on canvas. So you just are really going to paint the background and then you'll embroider the rest. Okay, so let's get started. And you're going to start with a blank canvas, four by four. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby, it came two in the pack. And I didn't realize it at the time, but it was a pleasant surprise that there's magnetic stripping on the back. So you can use it to hang, or you could also put it on a refrigerator if you still have one that will take a magnet. I know a lot of the stainless steel ones don't. Or if you have a metal door. So file cabinet. Let's get started. I am using the acrylic cerulean blue. So, and this palette, paper plate that I already have. Just apply a coat. This may take two coats of paint. dry, I'm just going to add a second coat. Hello. The next step is after this second coat of paint has dried is to apply a coat of varnish. And you can use any type of varnish for acrylic paint. So I have some here and I'm just going to quickly apply it. I need to let the varnish dry for at least 24 hours and then I'll come back and show you the next step. Once the canvas is dry, you want to find a line drawing that either you did yourself or if you're not very good at drawing, you can find a line drawing online uh, uh, line drawing online <laughs> okay this I decided to do a lemon and I drew it out myself so I already took this and tried to center it you want to be careful when you're drawing or finding something to print out that your drawing will not cover the wood frame because you're gonna have to get your needle through to embroider Okay, the next step is to take a needle and just go outline your drawing, poking the needle through the canvas so you will have holes that you can bring the needle up through with the thread. want to follow the line as close as you can. If you're off a little bit, it, it will be all right. So when you lift up the paper, you can see that there are a dotted, like, like dot to dot lines on your canvas. Okay, so then I have some green I picked up for the leaf, some brown for the stem, and yellow for the lemon. What you want to do next is thread your needle. Okay, now that my needle is threaded, I am going to take it, try to do this so that you can see. Here we go. 
bring the thread right up on the back side and stop about right there. You can hold it with your finger. Hold the thread on the back end in place. You're just going to go up up through the dot here and then come in. You're just going to outline the whole branch. I wanted to get this going so I can show you now the next stitch how I am doing it. So you come up and then just go over into this thread, this hole. And you want to take in a little bit of the thread with it. And that's how you're going to do and then do it all along just along the line the dotted lines and you can change out your thread when you come up to here if you when you want to do yellow and green for the leaves and I will come back and show you when I get a little bit further along. After embroidering the outline of the lemon too much blue was showing. To make the lemon stand out, I continued to sew horizontally across the lemon. This filled in the lemon. I also filled in the leaves with a darker green thread.